So it says here that you're four foot seven. Oh wait, no. Oh, oh, my bad. I was looking at your doctor sheet. My bad. Hey guys, one by that's by Kai. I'm Kai, and we're back today once again taking a look at how to create a pixel art overlay kind of animation. First thing we need to do is obviously um, I want this to be in 16 by 9 resolution. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, we can uh, have either two options. Either we can make it a full canvas or we can just make the piece that we're going to use and then render that out, which is much easier to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a new canvas here. I'm actually gonna uh, open a new one here. And we don't have to have it the actual 16 by nine, which is 1920 by, 16, by 1080 or 1280 by 720 or whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be that. Like I said, it can be a, a square. It just depends on what you're going to be making. So for today, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do 256 by 256. And then we're going to just go ahead and use this space. This is going to be way bigger than uh, the space that we need. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just use this anyway. We might actually be able to down this even in half. So 128 by 128 actually has. Do 128 by 128. Um, let's close both of those. All right. Now we have a bunch of space to work with. Um, now the way we animate in A-Sprite is to go ahead and hit tab to open up the animation timeline and all the layers and keyframes that we have. Um, so far we have nothing obviously. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to grab the black color with the brush tool, uh, and with, sorry, with the pencil tool actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a nice little outline of maybe f four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe maybe these six um, little squares here. So we're gonna go ahead and just outline this by holding down shift. By clicking and holding down shift, I can go ahead and do something like this, which looks really pretty cool. There we go. Um, now I think I wanna go ahead and actually erase those pieces and then put one there instead. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and erase that. And you'll see what I'm doing here in just a moment. So this is going to be like where the um, the panel or whatever you're making says what it says. So let's go ahead and um, we can actually color this in. I want to color this in with uh, maybe an orange color. Maybe a, I will do blue. Blue looks nice with everything. All right, cool. There we go. Now we have a nice blue color. I want to use white. Um, to make the letters now for the letters I'm gonna make them not inside of the button and then we'll move them upwards um, because it'll be much easier to uh, see that way so let's go ahead um, now I need to come up with a spacing for these letters so they all look uniform so let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna do what what's the word I want to say um, uh, uh, new new uh, I don't even know let's just do let's just do new something new follower i don't know this is this is to my name it doesn't matter what the uh word says as long as you have enough space to uh to make all the letters so let's go ahead and do this um let's do uh t let's actually make it kind of cool so we have little spacing like this um and i'm making each one of these thick uh the thickness of two by the way obviously so let's go ahead and do like this pull that up there um and then we'll do this. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Okay, wait. All right. And we'll pull that over. The issue is that's not as long. Mm, we need the we need the U to be longer, or it's gonna just be like this instead. All right. Okay. Um, that T is shorter on both sides, I believe. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. Yeah. It's it's shorter by one, but that way the U is the right amount of spaces, unless. I put one, one more space in the U and do like like this. That's fine. We'll do that. Um, I got cool. And then we'll go ahead and make the S now. So the S will obviously be an S. Um, and then it can come down like that. And then like this. And I'm actually going to flip those so that I can make this one like that. Cool. All right. Nice. Now I want to raise this up by one because it's going to bug me. Hit B, by the way. Sorry, uh, M, M, not B. Hit M, by the way, to get this little uh, box tool so we can select things. I'm going to drag this in half right there and then pull it up by one and then hit select none. And then we'll just fill in the rest of that by hitting B and going back to the brush tool. And now you can see that the S is the right size um, for things. But this just created an issue. Ooh, this just made an issue. I'm going to put it back because now it's not going to be even on the top and bottom okay so we'll put that back all right okay well the s will just be the way that it is i suppose um and then we'll go ahead and just uh do the b all the way down like this yeah i don't want to spend too much time on this because it doesn't really matter what it says you get you guys get the idea um so we just do like that 
and then erase that piece um all of that there and then that uh i'll pull it in there that looks like a b nice okay and then we'll also round the edges of the s and the u um and then we'll do the y now the y is gonna have to be a little different than how i might have wanted it to be that's all right so was that three spaces all right three spaces and then we'll do no i don't like that at all um we'll just we'll just get rid of the u idea and we'll just put it like it's supposed to be there we go that's fine oh there we go. That's fine. That's good. All right, cool. Um, and then we need to do Kai. So that's basically. I want to actually pull this S up so that it, we fill that space. And actually, we'll just pull the, the T over. What am I thinking? There we go. Um, nice, nice, nice. We've done this kind of to topography before, um, or font type rather. Um, and then we'll just do the Kai. There we go. And then we'll pull this there, and it'll go up like that. And then this will go down like that. And yeah sure okay and then the a same thing with the a as you guessed just gonna go down over inwards take those pieces off and then we'll do the i nice okay so that's our font i'm gonna go ahead and select that we'll move it way down here just for now um and i'm gonna go ahead and we need to do the animation for the uh button coming down first so on the actually i'm going to duplicate this so i'm gonna put this on, on a different layer so i'm going to right click this hit duplicate and then on this layer copy i'm going to select the touch by kai and hit delete and then go to the first one and then select this and hit delete so now if we go and hide these you see they're on different layers which is what we need so i'm going to hide that for now um and then we'll just grab the uh this layer which is we're going to call button there we go and we'll call this one we'll just right click it properties uh text there we go. Nice. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and with the button, I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe. So we hit this little plus button right there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and just basically get rid of everything. <laughs> so we're going to hit, we're going to select everything and hit delete except for the black line there. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, make it so that the, the black is shorter. So we're going to cut this in half about right there. Well, not half, but about right there. Then we'll come from this side and cut that about right there. And then we will um, maybe add two black dots on the ends. Or actually, we'll just get rid of those pieces. So it looks like it's kind of like staggering off a little bit. So there we go. Now, the second frame, I'm going to hit plus. Um, and then we're going to go back to the first frame where we have the actual button, the full button. I'm going to hit uh, control C to copy it and then we'll go to the third keyframe and then we'll hit control V to paste it back. So now we can get rid of more pieces again like we did before. So we'll get rid of everything once again except for the black line and but this time we'll leave most of it except for just the end pieces and we'll hit select oh, well, actually we'll go back to the brush tool hit E to go to the eraser and then we'll get rid of those two end pieces again like that making it look like it's staggering off and then one more time hit the plus button. We'll go to the first frame, hit control C, go to the last frame that we just duplicated, control V, and now we can go ahead and add a little bit more blue in there, um, a little bit more of the actual thing. So we'll hit select uh, none, and then make sure, make sure we go back to the brush, and then we'll pull that black back over. So now what we have is basically it looks like it's coming from this to that, coming down, and then we need to duplicate it maybe one more time. So hit plus, select this, copy, paste, and then we'll get rid of... Uh, maybe about half of it and then we will put the black back like that there we go and then finally we will just grab the first keyframe hit this little uh the actual one not this piece down here the actual one make sure it's yellow put your cursor on the yellow outline and then drag it behind everything to the last frame and now you can see that it starts off like that goes 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 until it's all the way down which is what i want so we play that you can see that it kind of does that, but then it repeats, so obviously, yeah. But yeah, it comes down. It's a little slow, actually, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of one of these. I'm going to get rid of two, so we'll hit, uh, uh, we'll grab the second keyframe, hit delete, and then we'll delete that so that it kind of goes from that to that, which looks much better to me, um, much snappier like I want it to be. Um, we might actually, if I'm honest with you, we might actually, no, we'll leave it how it is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um now with that being done um i think i'm gonna actually do that i'm gonna move this in a little bit so we'll move this move these pieces in for this one so it looks a little 
more dynamic when it comes in like that there we go that's what i like okay cool 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 now you play that all right it looks much better all right sweet now with that being done i want to go ahead and duplicate this out enough so we'll hit new frame a couple a bunch of times actually so that we have enough space to go ahead and put our text down and then there it goes and i think on the 24th frame i'm going to just reverse it so we'll just grab this third frame hit Control c go to the second to last frame or actually the yeah the second to last frame hit Control v to paste that the the second frame Control c and then last frame Control v and then number one Control c we'll uh, we'll select the last one hit new frame and then Control v um, actually and then we'll delete that and then uh copy it again and then Control v there you go so now it does like this plays stays there stays there and then goes back and then comes back again which is very cool um actually i the last frame so actually we'll we'll do this this one we need to do this because it, it needs to start with nothing in the frame um or actually no we can leave it the way that it is because when we put it in the blender we can just um we'll just fix that up all right cool never mind all right let's go ahead and now that this animation is done with the button i want to go ahead and um maybe add a little bit of something to it like a shine or something i don't want to like overdo it i want it to be a very simple like just plain thing but we'll go ahead and right click the layers and hit new layer um and then on about frame 10 we'll go ahead and grab a white color hit b to grab the brush tool and then we'll go ahead and uh hold down shift to make a line that goes across i think i don't like this angle though if i'm if i'm honest i think i might want to do a different angle maybe Hmm. Do I want to get ones like that? I don't think that I do either. I don't think I like this either. This is too slanted. No. No. I I think it was fine the way that it was. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I took it back. I take it back. All right, cool. So we'll do like this. What is that? One, two, three, four, five pixels across. Okay, cool. We'll do five. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, drop my opacity down a little bit. And then on each of these little pieces, we'll go ahead and kind of soften the um, transition. So that was really cool. But what we need to do now is we need to actually go ahead and move this around. Um, I want to start on frame 10, but not just appear in the middle. So we'll go ahead and move it off to the side here um, on frame 10, about right there. And then we'll hit uh, Control C, go to frame 11, paste it, and then we'll move it over. Um, then frame 12, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn on onion skinning. So how we do that for that is we, we hit this little button right here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that we have everything set oop, make sure that we have everything set up, which we need to go ahead and actually hide the button layer because it's actually behind it. We can make it in front, but just it's much easier just to hide the button for a second. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Now on frame 11, it's, it's right there. Um, oh, on frame 11, it's right there. 10 is right there. Sorry, frame 11, it's there. And on frame 12, it's back there. So let's move it up again. Um, and I kind of wanted to move a little slower in the beginning like this so we'll kind of just edge it on over and then it'll go a little faster now um skip a bunch of uh pixels and now let's, let's uh, re-hide the button re-show the button again so i can see where we are um a bit right there all right cool and we'll move it over again and then when it gets closer to the end it'll start slowing down a bit again um so we'll pull it over there i think we're close to the end yeah we're close to the end so we'll start slowing down a little bit um, and then right there, frame 19, and maybe just frame 20, and then maybe that's it. Yeah, all right, okay, um, and then we won't just put it on frame 21. All right, cool, so now we have the white doing like this, let's turn that off. So let's go ahead and play that. You can see the white shine does like that, which looks really cool. If you put the button back on, you can see it does that. But you can see the issue is, is that we can see it when it's not on the button anymore. So let's deselect everything. And we'll go ahead and now we can kind of erase all the pieces that we don't need. That's touching either the black or just touching the white space in general or outside of the uh, frame. So we'll go, go and do that by hand, which isn't too big of a deal because it's only like two frames. Yep, there we go. Two frames and then I think it's only one frame over here. So actually, might give her that piece, and then on this, okay, there we go. Um, nice. So super easy uh, way to do that. Let's go ahead and play it again. You can see the shine comes across. That looks really cool. And then it goes away. Very neat. I think for this piece, I want to make sure that it doesn't get smaller. I want it. I want this to stay the same size when it's over here. So we'll go ahead and fix that um, like that. And we'll just pull it over. Control C to copy that, and then Control V to just pull it over. By the way, 
there we go so i just wanted to come just come up um instead of getting smaller there we go all right so in the beginning when it comes up it it, it gets uh it gets bigger as you can see this is not the edge right here it goes over some more until it hits right here which is fine but then in the end you can see that it does not actually move it just goes straight up it's very cool stuff so if we hit play on this you can see that we have the nice little shine effect that comes in now we have to add the text after that so let's go ahead and uh reshow our text layer Make sure it's above everything by selecting it and then clicking the yellow box and dragging it above all the other layers. Now with the text, you can see we have all these keyframes, but they're blank keyframes because we didn't move it, but we just added them when we were doing the button on accident. So let's go ahead and hold down shift after selecting one and then selecting the other ones and then hitting delete. Um, actually, we need to actually hit delete. We can move them over like that. And then oh, we just added more cells. We need to actually hit what is the button there? On, it's, I think it's unlink. Is, oh, we can just hit delete. Uh, we have to hit delete on each one individually before we can do that. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and just hit delete. Just select every single one of them. Just hit delete on your keyboard. Not too many frames, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, there is a way to do that, but I forget what it is because we have to unlink um, the all of the the layers from the specific layer or something. All the keyframes from the specific layer or something like that. But let's go ahead and with the text layer, we'll de delete every single one of them except for one of the keyframes. My mistake. Um, and we'll put that one to the front. So now we have the words. Let's go ahead and move it up to where it would be um, if it was uh, if it was there. So let's go ahead, something like that, right in the center. I believe that's pretty close to the center, like uh, like that. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right. Now with that being done, I want to go ahead and now animate this. So I wanted to maybe appear uh, there on frame six. So let's go ahead and move this to frame six. Now all the other ones will hit control C and then control V to paste it. And now we need to go ahead and do something to make the text actually appear. Now I think what I want to do is I want to have it uh, kind of come in like um, letter by letter. Maybe we'll do letter by letter. Let's do that. All right, cool. So um, we'll just hit control C and control V. We'll start it on maybe frame five and then we'll have it go until it gets there maybe so on frame five the only one that i want visible is the t so we'll do that and then on frame six maybe the t and the u then on frame seven we'll be a little more, more lenient and we'll have all the word tuts and then on eight we'll have the b and the y on nine we'll have the k and then on maybe the k and the a yeah the k and the a and then on frame 10 we'll have a whole the whole thing so let's go ahead and play this now all right, that was pretty good. All right, and then on frame 10, we'll go ahead and just duplicate them all out all the way like this. And there we go. Control V until we get here, which I want to erase it. So on frame 22, we'll get rid of a little bit of it. On 23, we'll get rid of basically all of it. And then on frame 24, it'll just be gone all together. There we go. Um, Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and play this. You can see what we have. And we'll hit play. I think the letters come in a little weird. So maybe I want to actually do something kind of crazy here and uh, turn my brush size up and we'll erase like half the letters like that. And we'll have it come in, in a very weird way like, okay, yeah, that's much better. All right, cool, sweet. Um, so we have that it comes in and then goes up. Very neat. Um, yeah, cool. Now you can shade this, you can do stuff to it. Like I said, I really just enjoy the flat graphic style. So we're just going to stick with that for today. Now let's go ahead and uh, maybe just just get this thing done. I think that's all that we need to do, really. So that's basically it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, just go ahead and import uh, those things as an image sequence together. Um, uh, or you can use them as a GIF if you really wanted to. Of course, just uh, go ahead and export on all of that. I will see you in the next tutorial. Hope you learned something new. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.